Oh, I, I should start recording this because I, I do want to record this. Uh, put on my best Nintendo colors. And, oh, it's a lot of red. <laughs> it's a lot of red. Uh, but yeah, I hope, I hope everyone's doing all right. Hope everyone is doing all right. Let me just check one thing here on my own stream. Yeah, so this popped out of nowhere. If you if you know how how this came about, this Nintendo Direct, it literally came out of nowhere yesterday. Oh, I see a little bit of a I see a little bit of a green screen problem there. There we go. That's a little bit better. Oh. I am moving myself a little bit. There we go. But yeah, so this popped out of nowhere. And if you don't know the history of Drex, hi, hi Flair, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, if you don't know the history of Directs, they have been for the last few years doing Directs in January. That's like the Direct month. They lay out what they're gonna do for at least the first half of the year. And this year, there was no January Direct. So people were like, huh. And... It is interesting to me that they decided to have it now, and it makes me wonder why they would delay it, or why wait an extra month, when, you know, people are already expecting it in January. So I'm curious to see what sort of things they're going to talk about. Uh, clearly they're already talking about Fire Emblem Three Houses, which I am personally very excited for. Uh, <laughs> I want to see what that's all about. Uh, I've never really played a Fire Emblem game, and I feel like B Nintendo knows that the Switch is a big hopping on point for a lot of people. So, I have a feeling that we're gonna get a Fire Emblem that's gonna be... I wouldn't say beginner friendly, but would be a good entry point for any players. So I'm interested in that. All right, how are you? I bet not as tired as I am. I am so tired. Must watch the rain. <laughs> Don't sleep yet, Flair. It's happening soon. It's happening very soon. Let me check the time. It's happening in probably around five minutes. So pretty excited about this. But yeah, so I am. I am interested. Another thing that I noticed that has a little bit of a coincidence is that this week, later this week, I think tomorrow, the games for the Nintendo Online system, you know, they, they've been dropping NES games and everyone's angry because that's all they're getting with by paying for Nintendo Online. They're not even getting uh, dedicated servers, they're not getting anything. Um, it... It, um, it's tomorrow. So the new games for this month are dropping tomorrow. And it makes me wonder if they're doing this today because they're going to announce that Super Nintendo games are coming to the Nintendo Online. And people have been wanting Super Nintendo games for a while. Uh, and I wonder if they are going to do that because, again, they are coming tomorrow, I believe, the, this month's game. And this month they only announced two games when they usually announce three games or more per month. So I'm guessing that it, they've reduced the number of NES games and are going to increase the number of SNES games. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I hope that they do talk about that because it's been a point of contention with a lot of people. Uh, and they need to fix that. Because they have even said themselves that they've noticed a big drop-off on people that are signing, uh, that are subscribing to their online uh, service. So, yeah, we will we'll get to see how well that turned out, and if they are going to make any changes. Also, because this is the first Direct of... 2019. I am expecting them to talk about all the 2019 games that they have announced, except for Metroid Prime 4, because we know that's been delayed. I think that that was a great way to handle it. I love how loved how they handled it. Um, so many companies just leave you in the dark for years. <laughs> think about 
uh, The Last Guardian was Sony. We didn't know what was happening with that game for 10 years. Erica! Welcome back. <laughs> Nintendo shuts down. <laughs> Mario's dead. All the worst news. Uh, but yeah, so I am... I want to see them talk about all the games that are coming to Nintendo in 2019 that they've already announced. Like Luigi's Mansion, Fire Emblem Three Houses, Yoshi Woolly World, I think is the name? <laughs> Uh, so, I I just want to hear from all the games they've announced already that we know are coming this year. Unless they're all, they've all been delayed, and this Nintendo Direct is literally, we have delayed this game, we have delayed that game. <laughs> it's just all the games are delayed. How's the emotional state? The emotional state? Some good water. Yeah, I hope you guys are ready. What time is it? 58. Two more minutes. Two more minutes before. Do you guys have any anything that you're expecting? Anything you want to see? Anything that uh, you've been curious about? I can be excited for this. Well, now that I have Zitch, I can be excited for the more fit games. Fit games? What? You won't let me, like, boxing? What if they announce Wii Sports Switch? Switch Sports. I would lose my mind. I love Wii Sports. <laughs> I mean, Wii Sports is the best. I, I love that game. Switch Sports? I, I would love that. I would love that. Like, how's the weather, but... For your emotions, they're, they're alright. For things like this, when I was younger, I used to get really excited. But then when you grow older, you kind of know what to expect. It, it, it loses a little bit of the charm. And the, the magic. Not the charm, but the magic. Nintendo does charm very well, usually. Um, but so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty level. I want a new Half-Life on Nintendo Switch. I would love that. <laughs> Half-Life 3. Exclusive. To Nintendo Switch. That would be an announcement. That I would go crazy for. Oh no. C close that. Oh no. It's gonna start sending me a bunch of... Okay, give me one second. Hopefully it doesn't start in this half minute that I'm like... There we go. Boom. It was- it turned on- it's usually when I let my computer turn on its notifications. Just because it's usually when, you know, I'm done streaming and stuff like that. Today's a little different. Oh, oh, it's starting. Let me turn off the music. Hopefully the volume is fine. It's Super Mario- it's Mario Maker for Switch. It's Mario Maker for Switch. <laughs> yes! <gasps> they added slopes! <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm super pumped for this. I am pumped for- uh, it's immediate. It is immediate. I am pumped. They added slopes. <laughs> Is it Super Mario Maker? Oh, it was already Super Mario Maker. What are they gonna call it? Super Mario Maker 2, of course! <laughs> Let's see. Oh, they added a bunch of new stuff. The sun! The sun! Okay, no, that's that's an immediate get. That's an immedi immediate get. I don't know how many of you guys followed me back when I was doing Super Mario... Good morning, Mario Maker streams. Oh! Even Mario 3D World? Oh, I love this. Oh, <laughs> this is sending tinglys down this fine. Oh. Oh, yes. But yeah, I used to do every morning a Mario Maker stream 
featuring I'm new levels and stuff. And I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. You just got your first look at the brand new sequel to Super Mario Maker, which we're of course calling Super Mario Maker 2. Of course, of course. There will be brand new features, and many new elements are in development oh, as we speak. It looked so good. They added so many new features that we all wanted. Alright, next, let's cover today's Nintendo Switch headlines. Yeah! <laughs> For the first time in 10 years, the Marvel Ultimate Alliance series returns with a new four-player action RPG and an all-new original story. People used to love these. Team from a huge cast of Marvel superheroes, from the Guardians of the Galaxy to the Avengers, Defenders, X-Men, and more, to stop Thanos and the Black Order from unleashing cosmic chaos. You can play together in TV mode, locally on up to four systems or online. That's fun. And get closer to the action with a dynamic but yeah, people loved this game. And speaking of heroic, it's time to go higher, further, faster with Marvel's ultimate cosmic protector, Captain Marvel. Wield her power against those that would do harm to the universe. As characters level up, they'll learn skills you can use on the fly. In Carol Danvers' case, literally. In addition to <laughs> basic attacks and skills, each hero has an alliance extreme attack, their most powerful move. Whether you join forces with friends locally or online, take teamwork to unprecedented levels as you creatively combine hero skills into synergy attacks. Your most powerful attacks can even be combined into an Ultimate Alliance Extreme Attack. The team up possibilities will be off the charts in Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Yeah, three, this is a great party game. Uh, I had a friend that had these games on the 360 in college, and Welcome back, box boy. it was fun. It was Get fun. Ready to unload some boxes Great puzzle game, by the way. <laughs> Box the Boy. Acclaimed puzzle series Box Boy is coming to Nintendo Switch for the first time. This brand new game and it's really cute. Tons <laughs> of content, including brand new puzzles and new features. We fit something else in too. Turn up the volume a little bit. All right. This time, two players can box it up together. To restore peace on the box planet, you must work as a team, solve puzzles, and beat those stages. After completing the story, you can access a whole separate adventure starring Cutie, the tall one. Cutie? Is it good? Volume wise? In all, there are 270 stages. There are very clever puzzles. The the I, today, I think that this is a very good game series. Think outside the box and lead our heroes to the Definitely goal. play this if you're into puzzles. Box They're very the smart. They're Love very fun. Nintendo Switch, April 26th. Definitely get this if you're into puzzle games. The ultimate spring update. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is about to spring forward with the version 3.0 update this spring. Yes. What are we adding, you ask? Yes. You'll just have to wait to find out. Screw you. <laughs> Joker is a part of Challenger Pack 1. He's secretly been preparing for battle and his moment will finally come before the end of April. In other words, this year, springtime is THE time to smash. And don't forget, <gasps> new Super Smash Bros. series Amiibo figures are Snake Amiibo? Too. Snake Amiibo? I want it! Gimme, give gimme! Give I, I need- I need Snake There's Amiibo. There's even more to explore in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. It's never too late for a journey through the maze-like miniature world Toad. of the Captain Toad Also, Treasure if you Tracker. like puzzle games, fact, this is another good one. It's a puzzle platformer. Fantastic. It's a Mario game where you can't After jump. Update, all courses it's awesome. Two -player co -op. <laughs> Maybe Captain Toad won't be so nervous with someone at his side. Two heads are better than one and an extra set of Purple Toad? Is it because of the whole Waluigi meme? Is that why... Today. It's a and purple toad. Paid downloadable content is coming. <gasps> paid. Whoa. Nintendo does DLC paid DLC well. I I, I've never had to complain about Nintendo's paid DLC. Usually the value is good. A lot of other companies I have a lot of gripes with when it comes to paid DLC, but Nintendo's tend to be good value. Must obtain the shiny crowd in each course, all of which can be played alone or with a second player. 
Captain Toad Treasure I have an Tracker SMS overlay on my phone. Text as soon as of Persona. Yeah, I, I, I understand that. Early access to one That's of the awesome. You're gonna... Oh, the Joker. Launch on March <laughs> so if pumped. Don't have the game yet, <laughs> look out for a digital bundle available on Nintendo eShop later Man, this is a great puzzle platformer game. game. And gives you if you enjoy that kind of stuff, definitely get it. Once it's so many good games. That's the thing with Nintendo. Most of their games are really good. Steal yourself for yes. old school action oh. in new gothic castle. The side-scrolling action of yours. This makes me think of Nikki. This is like her visual art style. And so, the very dark, Miriam, brooding. Of the alchemist's curse, must use her unwanted gifts to slay the demons wrought by the curse's original host, Jeebel. This is definitely a. With these powers, she can steal the abilities of enemies. And it's from the creator of Castlevania after he left Konami. Because <laughs> Konami sucks. Uh, this is looking good. the castle, a treasure trove of side quests, deadly tasks, and small touches flesh out the campaign. Your body is covered with weird decorations. Beyond the main story, you can dig deep into character customization, subquests, and more. Stop the fall of man at the hands of demons. And don't be afraid to show them your dark side. That's cool. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night emerges from the shadows this summer. Nice. It's a lot of summer releases. The time has come to build a new Dragon world Quest the build. The children of Hargon. On an empty island, you'll ally yourself with the mysterious Malroth and defend your world from monstrous forces. Enlist villagers to help rebuild and fight alongside you in the story mode. Or unite with three other builders to create your own island in local co-op or online. You'll gather materials, craft objects and tools, and reach new heights by building it's, any structure. It's it's Dragon Age and Minecraft, <laughs> but with quests. Yeah. It has quests, Why? so Play it's a little bit different in that regard. Explore underwater and warp all over the new retro-inspired map. If you own the previous game on the Nintendo Switch system. You can craft the legendary builder's outfit and the Dragon Lord's throne. When Dragon Quest Builders 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 12th. A lot of people enjoy this game. It's not my personal Nintendo Switch headlines to come. But first, a word from Mr. Koizumi. It not my type of game. Well, people really enjoyed that one. Next. Pokémon. We have a new announcement for that classic RPG series. Pokémon. Take a look. No. There are RPGs, okay. <laughs> and then there's Dragon Quest, the series that defined the genre. And the latest entry is charging onto Nintendo Switch in full force, pairing the series' beloved style and perfectly balanced battles with the most impressive scope and elaborate story in series history. Where there is light, darkness follows. For no one does this ring truer than the Luminary. The boy that promised well, Rogers, to <laughs> see the last hero and protect the world from uh, a terrible end. In an odd twist of fate, the boy's royal birthright is snatched from him. On the Dragon Quest is he finally discovers his true so huge in Japan. And the powers that make him the luminary. So like it's cool to see it slowly coming to over the to the west. The largest kingdom for guidance. He is dubbed Darkspawn. So begins the perilous journey of a hunted hero and the ragtag band of adventurers who will join him on his quest to set things right. Together they'll explore the towns and terrain of the sprawling detailed land Erdrea. Monsters roam free. It's a good art style for the Switch, but I so this came out on PS4 and stuff. I think that they could have optimized and made it even more cartoony because it's cartoony with good effects. Party members orders. As you do, you'll earn skill and points which when it's like very high level effects, attacks, it's hard and for the switch. Their abilities. You can also collect materials so you can forge weapons, armor and accessories. Dragon War was the first RPG you ever played? Looking for nice. Item, Are you doing Avram? Or try your hand at the casino or horse racing. Oh. You're getting me interested. Surprises like these, and this time, the player has the power to choose on the fly between the land's gorgeous HD vistas and the 2D. I love that you can choose between the old style and the new style. The first version of the game with fully orchestrated field and battle tunes. If you want, you can change between the original sound and the new one whenever you want. 
And you can also experience the journey with English or Japanese audio. But yeah, I... They put so much care into these games. I, I've never played any of them, but I've seen a lot about them and stuff, and... I, I am interested to play one of them at some point. Maybe this will be the one. Um, but there there's a lot of love and care that seems to be put into this game. These games. First time players and veterans should also look forward to new stories. Each sees one of the main cast members stepping into the spotlight, shedding new light on hidden truths. This hero's adventure has truly leveled up. Dragon Quest XI S. Well, Echoes of an elusive age. The quality just vision. dropped. Launching exclusively on Nintendo Switch this fall. While we just announced the addition of these new stories, there will be more new information to share in the future. Please look forward to learning more. Hopefully, okay, it's slowly getting better. <laughs> Switch headlines. Yeah, timing. Disney Zoom Zoom game like you. Zoom Zoom. I. The Tsum Tsum mobile game? Toys took the world I'm... By storm, oh, it's and so now good. They're ready for an after hours party at the toy store in Disney Tsum Tsum Festival. Tsum Tsum! Uh... Play with your I don't care about the, the toys or whatever, but the mobile game is so much fun. Oh, it's like a Mar it's like a Mario party, but with Tsum Tsum. As well with players from around the world. That's Pac-Man. <laughs> and you can't mention Disney Tsum Tsum without talking puzzles. Yes! So that's the Tsum Tsum puzzle, uh, mobile game. <laughs> that's the that's the mobile game that I absolutely love. <laughs> so it's coming to the Switch. <laughs> oh, screw you, Disney! Picking up a distress call in the Atlas Star System. Oh, more DLC. it's far from friendly. In fact. It's none other than Star Wolf's infamous lieutenants, Andrew Oikini, Pigma Dengar, and the Great Leon. Oh, that's cool now, that they're adding more. And Sloopy have no choice but to hunt them down. Like that they're adding more Star Fox to it. Series of missions you can only find in the spring update of Starlink Battle for Atlas. Every member of the Star Fox team has their own special pilot ability and skill tree. Plus, each pilot can take on any of the new This is the best missions from the Star Fox game, game in a long time. But don't expect Wolf to play fair. Look forward to news on the rest of the additional content, such as starship races and faction missions, so you're ready when the Star Fox team joins the Star One of the Battle rumors was that there April. would be a Star Fox racing game. I wonder if that... A heartfelt fantasy adventure crops up once again. Another season, another reason to wield weapons and spells against monsters. Good morning. It is about to be fall. Interact with townsfolk daily. Grow vegetables and fruits at the farm. Yeah, this looks it's like a mobile fish. game. <laughs> Cook up a storm, or even raise monsters. This fantastical circle of life will keep you coming back for more in Rune Factory 4 Special. Fully remote Rune Factory. Wow, that still exists. Battle alongside townsfolk. Oh no, I'm thinking long. Runescape. You Never mind. More than just friends. I love you. Huh? Uh, Nani, <laughs> you can marry any of the waifu. <laughs> Uh-oh, I saw some lover's intrigue. <laughs> oh, these games. We can finally confirm that Rune Factory 5 is I don't care. Forward to more info in the future. All right. Soon, a time will come to slay monsters and rescue lost souls. Before those souls become monsters. <laughs> it's Japanese. It's an RPG from the developers of I Am Setsuna and Lost Sphere. Step into a realm built upon the tenets of reincarnation. Its people lead repressed lives, forbidden to mourn the loss of loved ones. 
To uphold these tenets, Kagachi must travel between the living world and the beyond to rescue lost souls. These guys have been doing interesting work. I am said Suno was interesting. So was the other one, I just don't remember the name. The lost souls you've rescued can manifest within you, granting you new powers. Each soul's <laughs> powers are different, so you must choose the right soul for the situation at hand. In this you know what I want? I want Metal Gear HD collection on the Switch. Battles. You will fight, and you will become Like, this is cool. I like the studio that's working behind this. I'd play this if I had the funds to buy all of these games, but I really can't, because there's a lot of good games. But I, I, I want Metal Gear HD Collection. doesn't matter that I've played all those games before. Robots and Yoshis in a world of craft. You know what that means? Yoshi's crafted world is almost here. It's beautifully done, yeah. So is this game. I love how it looks like crafts. On display. As Yoshi, you'll go rafting. Race solar cars. <laughs> and tear through the sky on a plane. Nice shot, Yoshi. Hey, that robot's pretty huge for a miniature. Like, the graphics look really Even good. This scale, you'll have some challenging bosses to rank. Really does look like... Using yeah, crafts. Points you've it, up. It's, you they did a good job. Costumes. If you wear one, it'll offer a bit of protection from enemies. There are more than 180 of these costumes. And Look at all these Yoshi costumes! <laughs> Later today. Oh yeah, this game looks adorable. <gasps> Demo version! The Yoshi's Crafted World game will finally hatch on March I think I know 9th. what we're playing tomorrow. We have more Nintendo Switch headlines coming up, but first, another update from Mr. Koizumi. Usually when he shows up, it's something How's big. How's going so far? Next, we Koizumi. have a follow-up on the latest installment in one of our long-running series, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh, okay. I thought I thought he was going to say something new. I hit my hand on the desk. <laughs> I am so excited for this. Hello, anime kid. Actually, she's 334. <laughs> What could have brought you here? Am I Vidjigay? The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000 year old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. Oh man, it's history class all over again. The oh. of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. I'm not going to remember this. <laughs> There's going to be a test. <laughs> these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Is that why it's called Three Houses? Oh. In the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, you are the hero, the I'm one the girl. <laughs> you start out as a mercenary traveling with a group led by your father, Geralt. After oh. an unexpected incident Hot reveals dad. an unknown power hidden within, you'll travel to Garrick no, Monster, where you'll receive an offer to teach at the Officer's Academy. Around that same time, you alone begin to see a mysterious girl named Sothis. Uh oh. Within your mind. It's the waifu. She's a dragon, I'm calling it. Garrig Mock Monastery lies at the center of three large territories. Oh, it's like Switzerland. It is the home base of the Church of Saros, the main religion of Fodlan, as well as the Knights of Saros. It's a cool Not dragon. The church that looked like a to cool maintain dragon. order in Fodlan. Its monastery also houses the Officers' Academy. Those who train there will go on to shoulder the future of Fodlan. The Officers' Academy I love is how there's comprised of three houses. Actual anime. The Black Eagles is like, for students from the Adrestian Empire, including the house leader and future emperor, Edelgard. Well, oh, that's a dude? The Blue Lions boasts Prince Dimitri of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus as its house leader. This house is for students from his That's country. a girl. No, <laughs> the Golden Deer is for students Oh, this one we have no idea. <laughs> Their house leader is Claude, who is the heir of the noble family that leads the alliance. 
As a professor, you will lead the students of one of these. We're the professor. In addition, game. Leaders, You're playing a dangerous game. It's anime, and we're the teacher. When there's like love triangles happening in the school, it's dangerous, man. Do you know how many horny people play these games? To travel to various lands, sometimes with the knights of Saros themselves. And gain real battle <laughs> Can I roam it? See? It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> to suppressing rebellions. These may be class assignments, but the stakes in each battle are very real. Whether you're still This game's probably gonna be two hundred hours long. On your leadership. Strategize as the battle progresses to claim Look at all these students. They're like thirteen, but look at how they look. <laughs> at the Officers Academy, your students will work diligently each day so that they may wield a variety of weapons. Master the study of magic. Yeah, like, th this is a 13-year-old student. And special skills such as horsemanship. This is really in-depth. trusted with their future. And it's up to you to guide each of them. And help Hopefully, them the game has a better way of slowly introducing you to all study. of these. You can help your students reach their full potential. Your students can also interact with each other at the academy, and by doing so, their bonds will strengthen. Oh no! And be able to better support their each bonds. Other. Oh, this is getting worse. <laughs> DDLC. See, this is how you do cell shaded graphics on the Switch. It looks good because it's very simplified, but still looks good because of the art style. Three territories, three houses. You're and then Dragon adventure. Girl. I I know it's a dragon. Fire Emblem Three Houses will release on July 26th. Wait, Harry Potter's? <laughs> Complete with art book C CD. CD? So, how does it look? Originally, we announced that Fire Emblem Three Houses would release this spring. But more we lied. <laughs> will be necessary. And so the new release date is July 26th. That means we'll have to ask you to wait a little longer. But we hope you'll look forward to the next generation of Fire Emblem all the same. I will. Time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh. <laughs> yeah. entry of this iconic series, the last player standing wins. Tetris. Tetris. 99 players. Tetris Battle Royale? One reigns supreme. Tetris Battle Royale? <laughs> Tetris 99. Oh my word, it's Tetris Battle Royale. <laughs> the iconic puzzle game arrives with an online experience like no other. It's Tetris Battle Royale. <laughs> battle for dominance in this free to download game. What? If you're attacked with garbage, attack back to defeat the other 98 players and become the sole survivor. <laughs> Nintendo Switch Online members. Be ready to join the fight. This looks fun. I mean, Tetris 99 will be it's available for download free later to download. Today. I'm fine to with that. It out in upcoming online events. I'm okay with this. <laughs> Prepare to kill, survive. Ooh, wow, survive dead and dead by daylight on Switch. Nice. A, a lot of people are. Oh, it looks terrible. Struck by fear, struggling to survive. A lot of these smaller then developers. Another survivor, but it's too. Have a hard time porting their game. Now to run. switch. Hide. Scavenge for items. This Open looks the terrible. <laughs> and escape with your life. Or take on the Again, some games do make the adjustments so and make the game look good. Next victims. Whoa, Terrifying? Oh yes. Satisfying. Just you wait. This game looks blurry. Maps. Probably because it's a very low resolution and, and they're upresing it. Earn. You'll experience a it looks like it's 20 frames per second. While you're too. on the hunt or being hunted. Discover the true meaning of horror when Dead by Daylight creeps up on Nintendo Switch this fall. This dog will ruin your day.
Yes! Dog! <laughs> Do not resist. There aren't actually that many dogs in the game. <laughs> yes. It's fantastic. Get it. Play Undertale first. Undertale's already on Switch. Now for a message from the producer of the futuristic mech action game. Play that. It's a fantastic RPG. It's one of my top games. Hello everyone. I'm Kinichiro Tsukura. Hello. Damon X Machina, and I have some news for you. Later today, they'll be releasing a demo called Damon X Machina. More demo. Oh, tomorrow's gonna be demo day. For a limited time. I am playing so many demos tomorrow. But in the demo, you can battle through four different missions while exploring the basic controls and customization. This is like that game that Kojima made. You can also experience a boss battle in the final mission. What's the name of it? So please try it out. After playing the demo, we'd like to hear your feedback. We'll be conducting a short online survey by sending an email invite to some players who try out prototype missions. If you want to it's it's survey, famous. We also welcome your feedback via It's the mech media. game that Kojima made. Kojima, the maker of Metal Gear. Hope to make this game the best it can be. We have more to say about Damon X Machina, so please follow the official Nintendo of America Twitter account so you can it's, stay up to date on the latest oh, information. Ah, oh, forget it. Damon X Machina. Just look for Kojima mech game. With that in mind, the development team is working hard right now, so please stay tuned. I'll look it up right now. Realistic Racing is headed for Nintendo Switch. Realistic Racing? Grid Autosport comes fully loaded with a mix of high-speed thrills. That looks good! And a difficulty level for the Switch? Skills. You'll feel like a pro racer as you master the world's fastest cars to win motorsports... For the Switch? That looks good. The also, there's Fox video Fox compression the going on, so Fox like it looks a little bit blurry, but is included with you can see that it isn't when the slower moving scenes. Welcome additions like motion controls and custom controls. Yeah, motion controls. Players can race online or locally, and two players can race split screen on a single system. From split screen. To yeah, games, so many racing games on don't have it. Speeds onto Nintendo Switch in summer 2019. I actually am interested in this. Because of the split screen. Age to experience Senua's journey How are you gonna run this on the Switch? How are you running this on in collaboration with neuroscientists and people who experience psychosis? Hellblade pulls players deep into the mind of Senua. This broken Celtic warrior will embark on a haunting vision. It looks good Viking Hell to fight for the soul of her dead love. Then you look at Dead by Daylight. She has won multiple this awards, including BAFTAs for performance. Looks incredible. British game and Game Beyond Entertainment. Find out why when Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice releases on Nintendo Switch this spring. The Nintendo Switch I saw someone play this in fall. Yeah, this game is fantastic. Mortal Kombat 11 proves the saga 25 years in the telling. Again, look at a, another game coming to Switch. Looks really good. <laughs> new characters and returning veterans taking up the fight. In a fresh new adventure, Unravel 2 sees players take control of two adorable Unravel 2, nice. That's so fun. That's a fun platformer. Zone of the Enders is the Kojima mech game. For some puzzling platforming fun, when this Unravel is cute. 2 this is a cute comes game. to Nintendo Switch March 22nd. For the first time on Nintendo Ooh. Switch, Ooh. Ooh. experience the Assassin's Two frames per second. Mastered, with revamped nope. gameplay and features tailored to the system like motion aiming and touch input. This looks like it's two frames per second. Explore one of the most iconic eras in history as you fight for freedom and independence. Yubi, the rise of a nation. Yubi's All the original downloadable content Assassin's Creed team is not very good at optimizing. This game does not look good. <laughs> Final Fantasy fans, better open your calendars. We're excited to announce that Final Fantasy VII will find its new home on Nintendo Switch March 26th. We can also announce that Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon, everybody, will release on March Chocobo's 20th. Mystery Dungeon. Pleased to announce that Final Fantasy IX will journey onto Nintendo Switch later today. Today? Once a classic, always a classic. I, I kind of want to try that game. That's all for today's Nintendo Switch headline. Oh. How's everything looking? Well, we have a bit more to share in this Nintendo Direct. Please stay with us until the end. Let's take a look, shall we?
Yeah, I miss Heather. What is this? They did the anime nod. Protoss? It's like Bayonetta. But with two people. That's a full city! Aw, oh, this... this looks interesting. Who's making this? That looks huge! Oh, Animu! <laughs> So animo. <laughs> Why did you make them? I really hoped you two wouldn't get caught up in all this. Now don't go dying on me. Astral, who's making this? There was no developed platinum, of course. All right. What you just witnessed is Astral Chain, a brand new action game in development at Platinum Games. Is it exclusive it like to Switch? The characters were fighting together during battle, didn't it? Because they were. I hope you're excited to learn more about how combat will play out in this game. That looks good. Please stay tuned. That looks good. And speaking of Platinum Games, I'm sure you're very keen Bayonetta 3. About Bayonetta 3. Rest assured, the developers of Bayonetta 3 are hard at work, and I hope you're looking forward to learning more. Our next title will be the last announcement of the day. Please check it out. What is what is this gonna be? Pokemon. Zelda? What are you doing, Nintendo? What are you doing? <laughs> are they remaking this? It's Link's Awakening. It's adorable! <laughs> it looks like it's crafts again. Oh, that's awesome! Looks really cute! <laughs> that's really cute. I love how that looks. You can jump? That's huge! <laughs> this was my childhood? Awesome, dude. Oh. So, what did you think? I liked it. Long last, 1993's Game Boy Classic, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, will find new life on Nintendo Switch. After 26 years, it has been reborn as a new experience, and we'll have more to say in the future. I mean, I'm gonna have to get it. <laughs> Please look forward to its release. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you, Koizumi. Alright, that was it. 
It was a lot smaller than I thought it would be. They updated us on most of their upcoming games. We didn't hear about uh, Luigi's Mansion. That was one. We didn't hear about Pokemon. Now that makes me think that they are saving those for later because they're the second half of the year. Most of the things we saw here were first half. So it's making me think that that's the case. Uh, so Pokemon's probably going to be a November release, December release. So you probably know, so yeah, everything they showed was first half or very, very distant. Um, so yeah, it, it was a lot smaller than I expected, but I'm okay with that. They showed good things. They showed things that I am excited for. Uh, they kind of, they gave a soft date to Smash Bros. Saying April, so. Um, what else? They talked about Yoshi. They talked here. Let me, we, I, one thing I do enjoy about this is that we can just scroll. Toad. Yeah. What was this? Oh, yeah. Marvel. Eh. Not that interested in Marvel. Box Boy, if you love puzzles. Incredible. Uh, can I please watch the video? You're not gonna let me watch the Giant video? Beauty, the tall one. Yeah, so that... What else? Oh yeah, this. The Bloodstained. Bloodstained looks good. Uh, these games feel like games I would love to play on the go. So... I am actually pretty excited. The Bloodstained game. The side-scrolling action of yours um, shall rise... So I, I am pretty curious to, to like see this game in action, play it. Um, but yeah, lol, yes. Where do we make, where do we make poke food for all Pokemon? What? Oh, uh, Pokemon mustard and ketchup. Oh, <laughs> the new Pokemon. <laughs> yes, I want Sfeel Bonbon. Oh no. Sfeel sounds gross. I don't even know what Sfeel looks like. Yeah, what else did they... Was it Dragon Age? Was that what that was? I loved how the new Zelda looks. Yeah, Dragon Age looks interesting. I might check it out. What else did we have? What was that? Oh yeah, Tsum Tsum. Yeah, I hope it's not too expensive. Uh, Fire Emblem, definitely checking that out. Yoshi's Crafted World looks fantastic. It looks like they had the same kind of engine making that and the remake of... of the... what's it called? Of Link's Awakening. Because it, it shares a lot of like the lighting systems and stuff like that. Fire Emblem I'm excited for. It, it looks huge. It looks fun. It looks like it's gonna take hours to finish. But we'll see. Tetris 99 to Tetris Battle Royale. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is the anime direct final. It looked cute. I need to look what a feel looks like. It, it, it sounds like gross. Feel ah, oh, and if you haven't played Undertale, play Undertale. It is a fantastic game made in the JRPG style. If you haven't played it, you're missing on like a game that really revolutionized in a small way the like indie how indie games were like produced and pushed forward, and even how like stories were told in those types of games. It. So it wasn't like this massive new thing, but like it, many games, many small indie RPGs were very different before from after this game came out. So definitely check out. The Zone of the Enders mech game looks interesting. It has a demo, it has a free demo. We're I'm gonna be downloading these demos and checking them out tomorrow, so. Oh yeah, and how could I forget? Super Mario Maker 2 Su looks insanely awesome. 
I... I... Yeah, I mean... And they seem to have, like, really done a good job. They added everything we wanted. And, okay, let's, let's pause it here. I think there's gonna be light mode, lightweight mode, so like you're on the moon, and heavy mode. That's my guess. Because I don't think this is the feather item. Because they, they usually have the items up here. Yeah, you see, like, the mushroom and stuff. I don't think this is the feather item. I think they're gonna be a light mode and heavy mode. I think they're gonna have different modes like that. So I, I am curious about what they're gonna do. Also curious about how they're gonna do it on TV. Because on the Wii U, even when it was displaying on the TV, you could control it here. My guess is that they're actually gonna use a pointer system with their controller because of the, how good the motion controls are. I think that's how they're gonna implement it. Um... Yeah, this is, this is fantastic. They just showed us so many great things and new features. So many things that didn't really exist in Mario. Here, I'll, I'll be stopping if you, if you... Okay, these are all enemies we have seen, the big versions. This guy we had not seen. So this is a game-specific one. I want to see how they translate some of these game-specific guys into different generations. Because that looks interesting. These guys. I have never seen these guys before. They're brand new to this game. And I love how the sun making a comeback is awesome. So like these more specific things to specific games weren't in the first one. Now it seems like they're adding everything. And that's going to be insane. Just imagine the community behind this. This is also big. The moving platforms, you, there wasn't really any way of making these. These are very famous in Mario games. Oh, changing water levels like that? We don't, we don't see many of those. With, you couldn't control water before. It just wasn't a thing in the first one. So it was either a fully submerged water level or something else. Cool, they have like more on-off switches stuff, more creative things you can do. What is this? The camera. You can control the camera. Is that it? Yes! So that's what that is. So it wasn't... It wasn't uh, heavy or, or light, it's just... You can choose where to move the camera and the speed on each phase. It's gonna let you really control how you how you create your levels. So when it hits two, it goes faster. Enemies, oh wow, you're getting some very specific enemies. So this is Super Mario 3D World. So this was a game that was fully 3D, but then they translated the style to a 2D style. That's interesting. If you've ever played 3D World, it's fully 3D. It's not a side-scroller. And it's cool that with that comes a lot of the things that 3D World has, like this piranha plant that like stretches out, and these big hitty blocks, and translucent pipes. Stuff like that. And they showed it very quickly there. But here, he's gonna throw the fire, and it's gonna keep going into the second pipe, which is really cool. The bullet bills, which were a boss thing. A hundred coins. We hadn't seen that before. Oh, this is fantastic. I was fully immersed in Mario Maker. Oh, that's a ten coin, not a hundred. Mario Maker. Oh, so many things you can make! Oh, that's like a proper big bullet bill. A ban bonsai bill that we did not see in the other ones. They have everything in there. That is fantastic. Oh, I'm, I'm really excited for for Mario Maker. Also, let's give a give a second look to to our Zelda, our new Zelda here. So yeah, I played a little bit, ne never finished this game. I played a little bit, but this, the art style looks fantastic. It looks like it's a toy. 
I love this new art style. The graphics look incredible. See, this is, this is what I mean by, like, knowing how to work with art style and the technology and the limitations of the Switch. You get something like this, and it's on what people would consider a very weak console. Like, as long as you're smart with... Is that a Goomba? Oh, no. I think they, they blocked the video now. But yeah, that, I'm very excited. Alright, let's look up Sfeel. Sfeel? Sfeel. Sfeel. I get the name now. It's a sphere seal. Oh, that is a sphere bonbon. Yes. Okay. No, I, I get it. I get it. Also, this is the sphere I know. <laughs> this is the sphere I know. Anyway, yeah, that this is adorable. This is adorable. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this stream. Hope you enjoyed checking out uh, the new Direct. There were quite a few, few very interesting things, and oh, I'm excited for quite a few of these games. Mush, mushar, mush. I can't say that. I'll just type it in. I'll look it up real quick. Mushar, jump. Is this it? Oh, it's probably this. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, thank you so much for stopping by, everyone. Hope you all have a great night, and I will see you all tomorrow. Trying out some of these demos, so yeah. See you guys 